Well, it was Australia and New Zealand, the Southern Hemisphere, that woke up to the news first. And the impact was felt pretty quickly with major television broadcasters going down in Australia. Uh, the network Channel 10, Off Air, Sky News Australia, it went down. Large parts of the national broadcaster, the ABC, had problems and they had to go to some form of emergency broadcasting as well. So it goes to show just how badly affected broadcasters have been internationally. Also on the issue of airlines, big delays at Australian airports in Melbourne and Sydney at a very busy time of year there where many people are trying to get out of the Australian winter to warmer climates. Uh, problems with check-ins there. It seems that Qantas, the major Australian airline, is operating OK, but Virgin Australia is having problems. But the other big difficulty in Australia has also been trying to pay for things. People going to the checkout of uh, petrol stations and grocery stores, finding that they can't even pay. Also reports of universities having problems. Some parts of Victorian police uh, some big companies in Australia, the Commonwealth Bank, the largest bank in Australia, problems with online banking, Optus, one of the big telecommunications companies, as well as Australia Post. Now, the Australian government, the Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese, released a statement and said that the government is well aware of the concerns of people in the country and that they had assembled their cyber task force to deal with this. Australia has had some problems of a similar nature a couple of years ago, so they're quite prepared for these sorts of situations. But across the rest of Asia, also problems in New Zealand, in Singapore, a big delays at Changi Airline, a Changi Airport there, one of the busiest airports in Asia. Uh, airlines including AirAsia, Vietjet, some of the cheaper airlines experiencing difficulties. Similar problems at Malaysia's Kuala Lumpur International Airport and also with train travel, trying to get reservations and ticketing in Malaysia. Hong Kong Airport, chaos and delay reported there, having to resort to manual check-in at that airport. And our Sky News colleagues in Thailand have said that also problems with online payments there, with the hospital system as well. And again, at the airports in Thailand, people are being told to get to the airport four hours in advance of their flights. Some reports of problems in Japan at Narita Airport with delays and cancellations for Jetstar. So a pretty difficult picture is starting to emerge across Asia, across these uh, busy airlines from New Zealand to Australia and in China as well. We haven't had difficulties at the airports in China, but we are starting to get reports that some hotels in both Shanghai and Beijing are having problems with reservations. Most comp companies don't use uh, CrowdStrike in China, so it hasn't been a widespread issue here. But there have been reports on Chinese social media that some people have been heading home from work early, unable to log into their computer system. And that's why we've had this uh, trending hashtag on social media in China. Thank you, Microsoft, for the early time off. So a bit of levity there, but really it's a pretty serious situation with so many uh, companies, airports and millions of travellers affected throughout the region.